Today we're at Walmart and this is a $100 fishing challenge in 2024. We've got a budget of $100 to buy a rod, reel, line, lures, everything we need to go fishing today. With rising prices though, how far can $100 really get you? We are back once again. I like to film these videos every couple years. I think the first one we ever did was in 2017. It feels like every day the prices for everything just keep getting higher and higher. Fishing is very expensive, but Walmart is supposed to be the place you can go, you know, to save a little bit of money. $100 is a lot of money, but how far really can it get you in 2024 in the Walmart fishing section. Let's go find out. There is so much pollen. I may be sneezing in this video. All right, little Valentine's Day action, little Easter action. I wonder if, hold on. Do they have it? Do they have it? So I've made videos for previous Easter's where Walmart has this like fishing Easter basket for kids, but it has a fishing rod in it. It was complete trash. Like it was so bad. I broke it every single time. I was kind of interested to see if, you know, they improved it at all or if they're still selling it. I didn't see it. But we'll keep an eye out. Holy crap, dude. $50 for a freaking, jeez. And boom, welcome to the Walmart fishing section. I've never been to this Walmart ever before, so this is going to be interesting. It looks like this is actually loaded with stuff. We got a ton of rods here. We got the little kitty rods, Moana rod. We got a bunch of baits down here. Now I do have some screenshots from back in the day, right? This will be kind of interesting. I did one of these challenges in 2017 and we've done it in 2018, 2022. I went back in some of those videos and like kind of wrote down the prices. It'll be interesting to compare them to today when everything's like so much more expensive. Dang, this is loaded though. This is pretty cool. All right, so $100. First, I guess we should try to find a rod and reel that will work for us. Dude, look at how much. This is just loaded. All right, this music's a little loud in here, but in 2017, this Moana rod right there. By the way, super underrated movie. Shout out to Moana, man. Shout out to Maui. 2017, this was $9.46. Today is darn near 12 bucks. So not too big of a difference, but that is, you know, start adding a few dollars to everything, you know, just start paying a lot. Hey, by the way, we filmed a video on this during the summer. If you guys want to check that out, it's a big old saltwater tackle box with a bunch of stuff in it. That was a pretty cool video. All right, let's try to find a rod and a reel. Hopefully like a combo that has line on it too so we don't have to spool up and spend extra money on that. Dude, this music is always blasting in these fishing sessions. I'd like to find a bait caster. We're gonna be fishing a pond today. More on that later. Honestly, lots of stuff in budget, $31. $35, these are just kind of nice combos. These all have line on them too, $50. So definitely within the $100 budget, we can find something. Here are some good looking combos. We got the Black Max, crazy orange. This dude here as well. We got the big boy right here, the Wrath. Hope you guys can tell how big that is. I don't know where the handle is though. Hello? Ooh, we got a little ultralight back here. These are always fun to use. Four foot six, that is I don't know where the prices are, dude. Pretty decent reel section. Let's see if they have any bait casters over here. Especially, it's always hard for some reason to find the left hand retrieve big. Oh, here we go. Black Max, that's $54 though. This one's $88. Big old saltwater conventional reel right there. Hey, that's within budget. <laughs> we can get one of those, dude. My arch nemesis, the spin cast. I've actually grown to appreciate these. There's a lot of options here, honestly. Some Walmarts I go to and they don't really have much. Dude, I like the look of all these Daiwas. This looks pretty interesting. Tsunami Barrier. Like me some Fluker Reels. 10. Wait, hold on. So this is where we just were looking. Dude, they've got even more. I like how they have this set up too. I've never really seen this. So they've got the Walmart brand, Berkeley, Ugly Sticks here. Different, look at this. It moves too. We got the pen rods. This is kind of a nice setup. Honestly, this is one of the nicest Walmarts I've honestly ever seen as far as fishing stuff goes. I didn't even know. So it's this aisle and that other aisle. All right, let me lock in and we got to pick a rod and reel here. I could be in here all freaking day, dude. I'm not lying. I love me a white rod. This actually looks pretty sick. Look at that. $39.96, shout out to Mike Iaconelli. I have really not used too much Abu Garcia gear. Mike seems like a pretty cool dude. I never met him before, but I've seen him in like fishing conventions and stuff. This is six foot, medium action. I think this is like six pound mono. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna try this out. We'll put it down here for a second. We'll keep looking. Boom, the rattle trap. $5.98. In 2017, this was $4.92. Whoa, what the heck? So I'm sure a lot of you guys know this if you bass fish, but Yamamoto was bought out and they kind of like rebranded their Senkos. Why are these so cheap right here? $2.50? I mean, I understand they got a chartreuse tip, but that is like one of the, is that actually? Yeah, it's Yamamoto Senko. Two fifty. You get seven in a pack. Yeah, at least these freaking $2.50 ones. I'm gonna grab some of those. And the green pumpkin are only $3.50. Grab a pack of these. 
from some of these. Bro, what the heck is this? Look at this marketing. <laughs> Stink paste. Mint hand wash. Eliminates fish and bait odors. <laughs> All right, so today, for the first time in a long time, we're gonna be trying to do some bass fishing. I am not sure, the weather's been kind of weird. I don't know what these fish are doing. So we're just gonna grab a couple different things. They could be spawning right now. And I'm also not very familiar with the spot we're gonna be fishing, so it should be kind of interesting. Let me know if you guys would wanna see me do any videos with any of these kits down here. We got top water, got the worm kit right there. This is another salt water one. <laughs> I guess one of the big things I was concerned about is like, can you still come to Walmart with $100? Because, you know, I feel like a lot of people's first gear that they get is honestly at Walmart just because they're so readily available and people are like, hey, I want to try out fishing. So they come to Walmart and get some gear. But yeah, I mean, definitely in 2024, there's a lot of options, at least at this one. It'd be interesting to explore different Walmarts and see what their sections and pricing are like. $9.50. Should we get this for a day? Dude, that is a freaking... Sheesh. This is cool to see too. Years later, we still got the $1 spinner and buzz baits. All right, $5.48. We're gonna pick up one of these dudes. Actually, no, that's a fourth ounce. Hello? We'll get this one. 3 8 ounce chatter. They also got a nice bait machine right here. You got night crawlers. Look how much they're loaded at this Walmart. It's one thing, I mean, we're in Florida right now, and look at this one too. A bunch of frozen saltwater bait. You got sardines and finger mullet and a bunch of stuff. We're in, we're in Florida. I'm from Delaware, so in the winter, it's kind of hard, you know, to find stuff like this where there's a bunch of bait everywhere and stocked fishing sections. Just because it gets cold, and they're not too worried about, you know, that stuff. But honestly, if you're on like a true, true, like lower budget, $19 for this. This comes with line, the rod, comes with stuff. And honestly, look at these. $9.98, rod, reel, and line. I mean, you're not going to be catching monsters. You're not probably going to be doing saltwater fishing, but just for like possibly bass, you know, sunfish and stuff, there's still some cheap options around, which is good to see. I mean, $20, $18, these all have line on it as well. If you are going to be doing any traveling, I suggest getting something like this. This is only $20. You could throw this in a backpack. I actually went on a cruise and uh, brought this a couple of videos ago. If you guys haven't seen that one, we were in Puerto Rico and I popped this out. We caught some pretty cool fish. That was, that was cool. Wow. I mean, look at the, look how much stuff is here. This is one of the only Walmarts I've ever seen that really have what I'm looking for as far as hooks too. A lot of Walmarts do not have like hooks where you can hook worms and stuff. Not like Nightcrawlers, I'm talking about like EWG hooks or stuff like this where you can hook like plastic worms. Again, I don't know if this is just like a really good Walmart or what. All right, we're gonna grab that. <laughs> All right, we got the rod out, we got the bait out. So this is a pond. I've only fished this one time before ever. I'll leave that video down in the description below. It's definitely an interesting pond with some mystery to it. We actually caught some pretty decent bass out of here. I'm interested to see what these fish are gonna be doing this time of year. Let me get this rigged up real quick. All right, so let me show y'all what we got. Ended up spending, is there a seat in here? Oh, it's in my pocket, all right. We end up spending $72.92. I didn't even spend the whole budget. Hopefully something we bought works. So we got the chatter, probably throw that around. I got a frog. I'm not exactly sure why. I just wanted to get a frog, I guess. Not sure if we can throw that on this rod. We got one, two, three packs of these Sankos that were only $2.50. Oh, got another pack of Sankos just to get them. Those were a little cheaper, I think, as well. And we got some worm weights. I think first, Let's go with the cheap Sankos. Let's go with the worm weights. And where's our hooks down there? That tail, I don't know. Maybe they'll, they'll like it. It's hard to see. I thought like since we're sort of up a little higher looking down on this pond, I was like, all right, so if these fish are bedding during this time of year, this would be a good pond to go to and kind of see. When we get here, it's <laughs> freaking cloudy as all heck. Can't really see in too well even with the polarized shades, but you never know, man. That sun could peek out or we might just get that right angle. I feel like it'd be cool to just like walk up on a giant mama laying there, throw a freaking discount Sanko. Maybe catch another PB. Cut this. I know I've been doing a lot of saltwater fishing recently too. I figure we'll do some bass stuff today just because it's been so like gnarly. The water is like super mucked up and it, it's cold because it's been really cold. So probably not much is going on right now in the surf. And it is a little bit on the windy side today. So not doing any kayaking. So I was like, you know what? This will be fun. So this is what we got. Texas Rig Sanko. Boom, a little worm weight, $40 rod. And one thing I don't kind of understand is this. I guess it just comes off. 
store that in our buggy and we're gonna be scooting around today because there's a pathway all around this pond and it's just easier all right there we go it's kind of noisy here there's freaking planes flying there's people driving we're gonna see what we can do out here all right first cast of the day make sure that's set pretty decent pretty sure i saw something jump over here so we're just gonna kind of let this hit the bottom give it some bops today it, i don't even know if i said it today's like freaking 80 degrees it is the nicest day it's been in so long here it's definitely a chance of us getting soggy let's give a big old cast out here i feel like a little sprinkle right now happening I don't know. This should definitely be interesting, though. I feel like this pond has some mysteries yet. And today we're freaking Scooby-Doo out here. If you're new here, or if you haven't been around a while, you're like, what the heck are you on right now? This is my scooter. Holy crap, that guy's... That guy's zooming. Dude, look at all these seagulls hanging out. I got out of the car, and it was just, like, seagulls, and I smelled flowers. Like, you know that, like, springtime air where it just got that flower scent to it. I don't know why it smelled like flowers. Probably because there were flowers. But uh, yeah, if you're new here, I hurt my foot this past year. It's a long story. I'll talk about it one day, like the whole story about it. But yeah, I hurt my foot. So I, I had that scooter so I could scoot and be mobile. And it comes in handy places like this because that sidewalks around the whole pond. And instead of just walking, you know, we're gliding. See, this looks interesting. I don't know if you guys can really see into the water or not. It looks like there's several beds. I don't really see any fish on them right now. But we might just be getting into that bedding season because this is North Florida. I think that they create beds and then sometimes if the weather's weird, they like kind of hang off them a little bit into a little bit of deeper water right next to them. I'm not a bass expert though. Maybe these aren't even beds. Never hurts, do some casting. I wanna get ahead of ourselves here, but I think one of the biggest struggles of the day possibly might be getting the fish over this uh, fence here. If we can hook in anything. We shall see, this line is a little on the lighter side. And I'm not sure how much I trust, you know, kind of cheaper monofilament that comes especially with these cheaper Combos. Anybody around here? I'll tell y'all, we can go so fast on this thing. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Off-roading. This looks interesting. All right, this is shallower. Can we see anybody? I know you guys could probably see a lot worse than me because I have these polarized shades on. Get some casts. There is like a... Uh, Kind of grassy slash mucky bottom. Like if you throw an exposed hook in here, it is probably gonna get snagged. There is literally, I don't even see this, there's a pipe. Right there, we're gonna throw it right in the entrance. Hello? That's the, I forgot, dude, there's a lot of pipes in this pond. Oh my gosh. See what I'm talking about, Apollo, dude? That is what I'm talking about. Look at all that. That is all what gets up in my freaking nostrils. I think the game plan, at least for the beginning, is to kind of bop around, see if I see any fish. I see a ton of bait right there on a little sandy patch. The goal is that by the time we do a loop around this pond, we have some kind of information of some sort. Ooh. I just saw a bass. I just saw a fish. All right. Let's go. This is right next to a uh, another culvert right here. I don't know if I spooked it, though. It was swimming away from me. Oh, come on. All right, well, we know over here there's a bass. I don't know what he's doing. He's being weird. 
but over to the right here he was checking out my lure he kept swimming up to it looking like he was gonna bite he never bit it we'll swing by later see if he's still there i don't know man maybe it was the tip chartreuse tip is that why these were Ooh. no what just happened we just got rocked come back for it you won't sun's out now that looks real nice and clear when that comes out one thing i didn't mention though when you guys are at walmart or any store at that and you're looking to buy a rod just make sure that all the guides are good you got the tip on it the drag works a lot of times especially at walmart i go there and it's just like not you know a perfect rod i guess i have to be more stealthy too when i pull up to spots Oh, there's a fish right there. Oh, he's looking at it. Holy freaking crap, dude. That's a carp. Oh my god. Monster carp in here. I just saw two fish swimming together. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, he ran into my line and got scared. What the heck was that? All right, construction is going on over there, and it's also going on right here. We are going to switch this up a little bit. I think we're going in a little bit too aggressive here. So we're going to take the weight off. We're just going to let that Sanko gently float. I don't know what's going on with these fish, but I feel like they're just freaked out a little bit, man. We're freaking them out. We're also going to switch to the uh, not chartreuse tip and see if that does anything i don't know if it does maybe it's freaking cursed all right and boom weightless texas rig sanko the og man if you're going fishing in florida you know like a pond or something and you've never fished it before i would highly recommend giving this thing a shot no nah, this is actually wild to me so in this area that i'm at i've seen at least three or four fish that kind of like are in their own specific area. Oh, hey, what's up, turtle? It's just so interesting because, like, they're looking at the bait, but they it's like they know, you know? Like, they know not to eat it. This is honestly one I wish I had, like, some kind of little Ned rig or something super finessey. I didn't think that, like, it's warm today. I didn't think we'd have any trouble getting them to actually eat it that's just fishing though right the things really ever go the way you think they would maybe that's just these bass up shallow too maybe they're like getting ready to spawn and they're just like please get that away from me oh no okay somebody's line is attached to it looks like there's like a fountain line i got snagged on the person's line i was snagged on the fountain line can't cast over there it's the most action we've got in a while wow dude well, come on it is so freaking nice outside today i just want to thank y'all man for watching these videos and Giving me the opportunity to be out here and fishing in this. Oh. See, I think I'm spooking them, man. We gotta be more stealthy. There's another pipe down here. Oh, 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 we got a fish. There we go. First fish of the day. Oh, man. It's a little bit heavier than I thought it'd be. All right. There we go, man. So, ooh, clear that water. Let's see if we can get them over here. Okay. So that might seem to be the trick. Ooh, kind of thick, too. Hello. So before I'm actually like walking over, I'm casting first. 
You gotta be super stealthy, super ninja. Just a weightless. Well, Sanko does his dance on down. Thank you, buddy. Naughty Giants. I really do appreciate you. It's so cool how clear that water is. I love fighting fish and you can see them like under the water, like through the, you know what I'm saying? Whew, all right. Definitely let me know in the comment section below. I think we need a new, oh, dude. The monster Sanko. If you guys want to see more uh, budget fishing challenges, because this used to be a staple back in the day on the channel. And they're a lot of fun to make. I haven't done them in a while. You know, they kind of got like overdone. But I feel like not many people are doing them anymore. I think it'd be cool to do, especially for like saltwater and stuff. So let me know if you guys want to see that. Let me know what stores and what you want to see me fish for. If you're new here, we've done all types of these over the years. A bunch of different stores. Almost every store you could think of where you can get fishing gear, honestly. And I uh, fish for bass, trout, saltwater fish. I just like to show you guys, you know, that you don't have to break the bank to go out and have fun and catch fish. You really don't. Fishing is expensive, but it doesn't have to be like expensive, expensive. You know, we don't need freaking Gucci rods and reels out here. All right, and boom, the OG does it again. See, two. I just said I gotta stop doing it. I just did it. I freaking walked up, spooked these fish. Dude, I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see that bass right there? It is so clear. This rod? for the price is not too bad. It does have that like, I don't know how to explain it. Like you know when you fish with more expensive stuff and it just feels like it has better quality materials. I'm sure they make stuff that's better. I mean, this is meant to be a cheap Walmart rod, but it's kind of got that cheap plastic, you know, where like, I just feel like this, especially the handle might just break. And up here, it's kind of got like cheapish plastic to it. Kind of, it's sharp a little bit when you touch it. But again, I mean, 40 bucks and that's not to say cheap plastic cannot get the job done there's a bass over here let's see if he even like looks at it or if he's oh there's one right there too let's see are these dudes spookish as well i would say so this is probably going to be bed right here see that somebody's probably going to be on that there's a couple other ones over there oh yeah yeah oh my gosh See, they see it that they just skirt out of the way. We are going to just. A lot of times when you throw these weightless Senkos, uh, probably most of the time, I don't really even feel a bite. You just kind of see your line. When that thing stops dancing, gets to the bottom, I just like pick it back up, let it do a little flowing back down. There's the wind. Oh, that smells so good. It's like a fast food restaurant right there. Oh my gosh, it's blowing it right in my nostrils. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Oh no. I'm literally in this spot right now. I see two bass to my right, one right in front of me there. One to my left, one or two to my left. They're literally just teasing me. I think these are all about ready to get spawning and going. Oh man, I casted that one out a little bit further. It seems like most of the fish that are like super shallow are just not looking to eat anything right now. It's teasing me though. There's a big one right there. Trust me, everything I, I, I you know, literally every time I throw something at it, just does not even care and then if it gets too close to it it's just like ah it's honestly the curse man about fishing a spot like this just all the ew, freaking poop right there all the food Especially on a windy day like this, some sense, man, they're, they're freaking wafting. You can see this area too, there's gonna be a big place with beds everywhere. All right, it's time. We're gonna break out the chatter and just see if anything is interested. I'm wondering if we can get like some kind of reaction bite or if they're just gonna like swerve this even more. We're just gonna go straight, no trailer. Let's see what we could do.
Oh my gosh. In the pipe. In the pipe. I didn't know I had a fish on right there. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Finally, I'm gonna cast it in these pipes. Oh, this is a decent one. Oh, don't get off. Oh, don't break my stuff. Whew. All right. Yes, sir. That's not a bad one. Boom. There we go. Here's a better look. Got the beautiful sounds in the back of construction. <laughs> that is urban fishing sometimes. And some nice car sounds. There we go, man. Heck yeah, dude. Let's get him back. I don't know if you guys can see. Literally right there. I, I don't even think you guys can see. There's nice juicy pipe. Just threw this right down in the deep area. I didn't feel a bite. I didn't see my line move or anything. I just felt weight when I tried to reel back up. He was on. These Senkos are really breaking pretty easy. Whew, that feels good though. Swapped around baits, casting all over the place. Dude, I don't understand. So people walk their dogs around here. People who don't pick up the dog poop, like what are, what are you doing? Those are probably the same people who don't return their shopping carts. Don't be that guy. Look at all this, man. This pond is building up. Who's beeping? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. So this drag just slipped. I oh, still got a fish. Still got a fish. That was weird. I thought my drag was too loose for a second. It just, oh, we had a fish. Wasn't a big one. Anyway, good to see that, you know, there's still some stuff around. <laughs> Isn't it so interesting that we say like, bless you. And that's just like the normal thing. And it's almost like viewed as like inconsiderate slash rude if you don't bless somebody after they sneeze. It's just like when you, when you start thinking about things in life, it's like, that's, that's kind of interesting. Those are just some fishing thoughts, you know? Sometimes you just think about stuff. Anybody over here? We're at this windblown bank. This probably is like, honestly, the best side to be fishing right now. It's just that we're staring into the wind and dude it is going straight oh whoo straight up my nose drag is weird it's not me it's, it's the drag that time it was too tight i feel like i don't know sometimes when those fish jump up like that and psh, do a little free willy it's hard you know to keep them hooked oh man darn it hey man again that's just i guess fishing sometimes you know other people might edit that out of the video or edit out other stupid stuff y'all get to see what goes on man not the highlights this is just fishing adventure it's funny sometimes i get people commenting on my videos throughout the years and they're like dude like this was like a 15 20 minute video you only caught like one fish that's how fish it is sometimes man you know how many times i go out and try to fish i literally just catch nothing <laughs> especially back in delaware and especially like in the winter oh my goodness that is just part of it i'm just happy we're getting bit like at all because for a while there when we were seeing those fish they were being so weird Oh no. I apologize if this camera angle isn't the best too for some of these bites. Just it's it's hard with this fence. This weightless is doing way, way, way better than when we were fishing over here in this like shallowish area with the uh, weight on, like right when we started. That's kind of like where we're at right now. Hey, I don't know if I mentioned either. I just realized this, this is a two piece rod too, which is kind of nice. Oh, all right, here we go. You know, I think I figured out what my least favorite thing is about this combo, and it is this real, like the drag system is so weird. So listen to this. Like that's pretty hard to pull. 
but if you go like this smallest amount to the left it's like super like it's so you have to be so precise so if you bump it or something you could really like loosen up your drag or tighten it too much i think i prefer when they like click but again i realize you're getting a rod reel and line for 40 bucks so whatever you're getting i mean that's a pretty good deal There we go. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, put that drag out a little bit more. All right, please don't lose this. This is a really nice fish. This is the biggest one of the day. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to take this over the railing. Oh boy. Drag works. <laughs> oh yeah, that is a beautiful. All right, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Oh my gosh. Dude, it is fighting on this rod. All right, can we get it up? Or are we gonna break this? Can we get it up? Oh. Whew. All right. <laughs> there we go, man. Biggest one of the day. That is a respectable fish now. Oh, all right. It's a little bit better. What do y'all think, man? If you like these videos, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, by the way. This bass stuff, because I know I've been doing a lot of salt water. Sometimes it feels good, man, to get out there. Catch one of these. It's not a giant giant. I wish I could release it a little bit better. That will have to do. Boom, swims right off. If you guys are interested in seeing me catch a giant bass, a couple videos ago, I'll put it down in the description below. I caught my personal best out of a pond. Let's just say it was over a five pounder. It was over a seven pounder. It was it was over an eight pounder. If you haven't seen that video, it's down in the description below. I need to hit up those ponds again. It's fun to like explore new spots and kind of like figure stuff out you know when you get to fishing it's kind of like figuring out a puzzle you know where are the fish at what kind of mood are they in what will they eat if anything look at that just torn up but sometimes if you're lucky bad you get them to bite and you can actually hook them and get them in still working on that one you want to know just where well.